We are now in day eight of Donnie Rowe's death penalty murder trial. The sentencing phase began after guilty verdicts last week. Last week, jurors heard from a lengthy list of victims of Rowe's various crimes throughout his life. Today, Rowe's attorneys brought more witnesses from Rowe's past. This time, they were family members. Donnie Rowe's cousin, Sean Craig, talked about their abusive childhood. He described Rowe's upbringing as rarely safe. He said Rowe's stepfather belittled Rowe and physically hit him. He also said Rowe's uncle, Brad Lively, was a drunk who also mentally, physically, and emotionally abused him. Right after Craig spoke, Rowe's first cousin, Tabitha Williams, then testified. She said if Rowe cried, his beatings got worse. Sometimes punishment was no food. Williams added Rowe tried to protect her and his cousins when his uncle and stepfather physically got ready to hurt them. She also said Rowe was hit with a 2 by 4 wooden plank, chicken wire, and fencing post and steel-toed boots as a young boy. His hands were on the doorway, like holding the frame of the door. And Brad ran up behind him and kicked him in the middle of his back. What, where, what happened to Donnie's body when that happened? He fell. I mean, he was very small for him. Brad was a very large man. Did he get up? I couldn't get up. Uh, Craig says not spoken with Roe in more than 20 years. Both Williams and Craig say they distanced themselves from Roe's family. Jurors will be listening to more defense witnesses throughout the day, including administrators from the juvenile detention system Roe spent time in as a teen. Our Molly Jett is following each development of this trial, and she'll bring you any breaking developments on 13WMAZ.com, and we'll have more tonight at 5 and at 6.